Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. I hope everybody is having a superb day or has had an awesome day. Uh, welcome Kanupriya. Welcome to our chat moderator Carolina. Welcome to a lot of our new members. I see quite a few new members have joined up in the last class, which is awesome to see. Uh, make sure to send me some emails so I can hook you up with your perks, everyone. I will show you my email address in just a moment. Uh, students in this class, we are looking at IELTS speaking part two, talking about how to improve a relationship. Uh, maybe some good uh, relationship counseling coming up today as well. Um, students, this is a subscribers chat class. That means to join the chat, you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are encouraging uh, viewers to subscribe because coming back and watching these lessons regularly is the sure way to improve your English and your communication. So subscribe now and join the chat. Um, also, this lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com and giltshelp.com. Visit these websites for over 100 hours of video lessons, original practice exams, interactive courses. Our websites, uh, they uh, look like this. This is our academic IELTS website here with the blue background. We will be using this today uh, to do speaking practice as well. So click this big red button to join our premium IELTS package. It's a one-time payment. You just pay once, not a lot of money, um, and lots of help, lifetime access. Uh, we're British Council certified agents, and you can see here our success stories. Um, we have lots of them. Uh, these are all our students over the past years uh, who have successfully passed their IELTS exams and have come back to uh, thank us and have sent their pictures and there's lots and lots of them so become one of our success stories in the future. Our general IELTS uh, website looks like this with the green background. Click that big red button to join us uh, there. Again, we will be using our academic website, this one here. Um, a little bit later on to do uh, speaking practice. Uh, students, of course, we have apps right there, um, Academic IELTS Help, General IELTS Help in your app store. And then just right down below there, Instagram IELTS underscore AE Help, G IELTS Help. Uh, join us and start your journey uh, on success for the IELTS exam. Um, questions, uh, just uh, send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com. All of those new members, please send me emails so we can hook you up with your perks. This week we've got speaking part two, uh, tomorrow task one academic, speaking part three, and then task one general uh, writing and more speaking part three. All right, um, speaking part two, uh, please repeat this cue card after me. This is the cue card that we are dealing with today. So uh, here we go. Think about an idea you had to improve a relationship. You should say who it was with, uh, what was the idea, when and why did you have this idea? Did it improve your relationship and if yes, how? Uh, you will have one to two minutes to talk about this topic and you have one minute to prepare. So the goal here, um, as you can see down just to my right over there is think, plan and execute. So those are the right steps. Sounds easy enough, but it does take practice. So we're going to do this together now. Um, we'll take a look at this question in our syllabus and then uh, talk about it. Um, in a little bit of detail, so you know what to do for this kind of a question, everyone. All right. All right. Uh, Daval, you're very welcome. Thanks for saying that. Um, okay. 
Um, Said is asking, can I ask for explanation from a certain for a certain word for the examiner? No, you cannot. Uh, the examiner is not allowed to explain words or is not allowed to paraphrase. Okay. Um, this is, of course, not an ESL exam. It's an English proficiency exam, so they can't explain words to you. Okay. All right. Um, so again, here we have our task two, and there are some uh, very important steps to take when you are doing task two and in that one minute preparation time. So um, here, the first step is to really pay attention to the question. So talk about an idea you had to improve a relationship, okay? Who it was with, so the person or people. Um, what was the idea, okay? When and why, there's two questions there. When and why did you have this idea? Did it improve your relationship? If yes, how? Again, there's two questions here as well. So um, we have <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six questions to answer, okay? You must recognize that you have six questions that you must answer. If you miss any of these, it's hard to get a full mark. Okay, you must answer. All right, so that's very important and you have to read that carefully to recognize that. All right. Okay, so now uh, for step two, okay, you identify the category. Okay, by this I mean, are you talking about a person, place, um, object, event, or an idea? Okay, hi Shyam. Uh, Shyam, uh, staying loyal and respectful to your love is not an idea to improve a relationship. I don't think that will work. I think that would be a little bit difficult, but we'll talk about how to come up with a good idea here in just a second, okay? So, um, yeah, me is saying, well, here we're talking about an idea. Um, Dan, the topic is not tough as long as you break it down and think about it, okay? All right, so here we're talking about an idea, yeah. And um, when we talk about an idea, then uh, what should we include for the idea to be clear for our listeners? So, we're basically talking about an idea, not so much a person, Sanjay. It's mostly just the idea that we're focusing on here. And when we talk about an idea, what should we include? Like, you know, when we're talking about a person, we include their appearance, their personality, and their actions. When we talk about a place, uh, we describe its appearance, its location, the attendees, the events that happen there, and the importance of the place, perhaps the history. Um, so each of these categories has a set of ideas or a set of information that you have to include for that to make sense. Okay, uh, so Saeed says, we have to talk about the origin. Mian says the origin of the idea, yeah. So where does the idea come from? Uh, Mi says the requirements. <clears throat> yeah, what is needed for this idea? Yeah, the outcomes, uh, Tatiana says, yeah, of the idea, okay. Um, and Tatiana says maybe the improvements. Yeah, so a reflection on the idea. Right, so how can it be improved, okay? And of course, don't forget the description of the idea, right? So we describe the idea, what the idea actually is, the origin of the idea, where it comes from, the requirement, what is needed for this idea, the outcomes for the idea, so what are the results of the idea, and the reflection, right? How can the idea be improved, all right? 
So that's what you need to do. Um, and uh, if you're making a business plan, for example, you might have learned this in your business school that these are the steps. There's different ways to say these points, but it's basically these points. So A, B, C, D, and E. As long as you do that, you're going to be okay, all right? And in step two, also identify the tense, okay? So in this case, if we're looking um, at this question, it's who was it with? Okay, what was the idea? When and why did you have this idea? How did it re or did it improve um, your relationship? And the topic sentence, of course, is had an idea. So uh, you have to use the um, past tense clearly. Okay, and you have to use past perfect and present perfect, okay? Present perfect becomes very important here because present perfect shows expectation and achievement. Okay, so, and obviously when you have an idea to improve a relationship, you expect that it will create change. If it didn't happen, then unfortunately change didn't happen. So with this kind of an idea, present perfect becomes very important because of expecting change, achieving change, and these situations are expressed best with the present perfect grammar. So to show change, expectation, and achievement. Okay, so we'll circle back to that later as we're going through this, all right? Okay, in the next step, step three, uh, we have to come up with some ideas um, to you know, answer this question. So come up with uh, two to three, don't just think of one. And some of you are like, well, even one is challenging, but if you really think about it, um, then you'll come up with it. So come up with two to three good original ideas uh, that are easy to talk about with lots of information okay so um give me some ideas even if it, you're making it up even if it's not you know really something that you've thought about although truthfully students we should be thinking about ways to improve our relationships with people whom we love who we spend lots of time with um, so, okay, Saeed says, becoming best friends with a boss, that's a goal, but that's not an idea. Okay, so Saeed says, becoming friends uh, with boss, but how? So what is the actual idea? So here, my question to you, Saeed, would be how? What's the actual idea? So becoming friends is the goal, but it's not the idea. Okay, so this is a goal, all right? So let's, I'll take a look at some other ones, but let's not rush here. Um, so you want to become friends with your boss, all right? That could have some value um, for sure. Um, how could you do that? Okay, so what kind of an idea um, could you have to uh, become friends with your boss? Mal says offering favors, um, that's still too general. Try to think of, yeah, okay, Saeed says inviting him to the bar. Maybe not the bar, Saeed, but uh, Friday luncheons. Luncheons, luncheons, like that, luncheons. Can anybody guess what luncheons means? <laughs> now that I've got the spelling right. So uh, Friday luncheons. Okay, what does that mean? What does luncheons mean? Friday luncheons. Anybody know? And I think it's a great idea. So again, visualize it. Uh, yeah, Carolina, yeah, having lunch together. Okay. Exactly. Okay, it's Friday luncheons. All right. Okay, a lone girl says, improving my relationship with my sister-in-law. Um, how, though, right? So, 
Yeah, Friday luncheons means having lunch together. Um, so again, your goal and your method are not the same. Keep that in mind, okay? All right, let me see what other um, ideas we have uh, so far. Uh, Romaine says, invitation to play a game or a uh, sport together. Yeah, so maybe um, improving a relationship with uh, uh, your brother or sister, right? Let's say sister, okay, by uh, joining a uh, sports club. And let's be even um, more specific here by joining a uh, tennis club together. Okay, maybe you decided to play couples tennis. Hey, that's a great idea. I bet you that's gonna really improve your relationship as long as you stick it out. So improving a relationship with your sister by joining a, a tennis club together and playing couples or doubles. Okay, sure, that's a brilliant idea, all right? All right. Uh, Elif Naz, uh, going to couples therapy with a partner. Yeah. So going to couples therapy with girlfriend or boyfriend. Okay, um, so let's take a look at this. So this is option one. Option two and option three. And again, uh, when you practice this at home, you can become very quick at it, okay? You can become very quick at coming up with some great ideas. So um, what do you choose, students? I'll let you vote and then I will tell you if I agree or disagree. So we're coming up with two to three good ideas. Idea number one, becoming friends with my boss, taking my boss for Friday luncheons together. Number two, improving a relationship with my sister by joining a tennis club and playing doubles tennis. Option three, um, going to couples therapy with girlfriend or boyfriend to improve listening skills. Okay, let's go with that ending on that one. So let's see what you vote for. I'll take a vote here. So number one, two or three. Rashika is voting two. Carolina says two sounds good. Mi Yen says number two. Tam says, yeah, I think number two. Um, and Tatiana just straight up writes it. Sis and tennis. All right. Um, Amarjeet says number four. I haven't come up with that one yet, Amarjeet, so I'll leave that one to you. Okay. Um, Chandra says number two because it has lots of content. Yeah, and look at number two is getting the votes for sure, the majority of the votes. Okay, uh, it is a good option. Good option, uh, easy to talk about, lots of uh, content, and it's original, for sure. Uh, the problem with number three, okay, um, is, and that was kind of a trick question by me, uh, the problem with this one is uh, difficult to talk about, lots of specific vocabulary, and unoriginal. Okay, so I would imagine that uh, quite a few people, uh, if this were your IELTS question uh, next week in your IELTS exam, a lot of people would choose talking about therapy. Um, and uh, talking about therapy, um, counseling, psychology, couples therapy, you might get yourself into some difficult explanations and difficult vocabulary. Uh, and kind of repetitive information. So I would actually avoid number three. I think number one is a better option than number three, okay? But I definitely think number two is a really good option, all right? So number two it is. Uh, step four is take some notes. So does that make sense, students, that it's really important in your one minute before you take notes to come up with two or three good ideas. Having a good idea will be the single biggest deciding factor in the effectiveness of part two and in your overall speaking score. 
Does everybody get that? That's so super important and I really want everybody to pick that up. I'm gonna do like a 20 star thing here. Um, so finding a good idea for part two or a good response, because if you're talking about a person or an object, obviously. So finding a good response for part two is arguably the biggest single uh, deciding factor in uh, getting your best um, score in the IELTS speaking section. I, I truly believe that. So when I do speaking practice with um, the same candidate and I think they found a good answer for part two, I almost guarantee you they always score like one band better overall than when they don't have a good idea. So finding a good response is arguably uh, the single biggest deciding factor um, in getting a high uh, score. So in that one minute preparation time, before you worry about taking notes, think more about having a good idea, okay? In your one minute preparation time, do not even worry about notes until you have a good idea. If you have to spend the whole minute or a good answer, um, if you need the whole minute to come up with a good idea, then use the whole minute to come up with a good idea. Okay, if you need the whole minute, then do it. You're still going to um, do better than if you have a bad idea and you take some notes and it's really confusing. Okay, and I see lots of thumbs up and um, Harvest says, I firmly agree. Yeah, very good. Okay, now that we have a good idea, um, we can come up with some notes, okay? Some useful notes. So, um, okay, um, I am um, going to sign up for couples tennis with my sister. And now I just go through these steps. So description, right? Um, the origin of the idea. So why did I have this idea? Um, the requirements, so what is needed for the idea? the outcomes and the reflection, right? So how can we improve on this idea? So we're going to go through these steps. Okay, description, quite easy. Couples tennis. Now, I don't wanna write down words that I already know because I know that's my idea. I know it's couples tennis or doubles tennis, right? Okay, so describe the idea. Um, local tennis club. Okay. Uh, describe the idea. So give me give me some thoughts around this idea. So what are what is the description of playing doubles tennis? Okay. Shakir, the important vocabulary related to your ideas and idioms that will come naturally as you kind of go through these steps. Okay. So local tennis club what other definitions? Okay. Give me some other, give me some other descriptions for this idea. Okay. So Saeed says, sister had moved to another city, our relationship became bad. Yeah, but Saeed, that won't make sense because it's really hard to play as uh, doubles tennis if your sister um, is in another city. And I think, Saeed, that you're moving to the next question or the next part, which is the origin of the idea. So the reason for having this idea. Okay, um, Yabeth, same thing. Um, you're moving to the next uh, part. So this would be the origin. Um, so origin would be like um, moved out of house. Okay, and a build teamwork. So that's, those are the reasons for your idea. That's the origin, okay? Um, but what's the description of the idea? 
Okay, so here think about the parameters. Okay. All right. Romaine says can join at any moment of the year. Be a bit more specific, Romaine. Okay, uh, Tatiana says buying rackets and sportswear. That would be more the requirements, Tatiana. This is why it's important to practice this at home, everyone, so you can um, separate these elements clearly. Okay, so buying rackets, making time, right? Okay, uh, paying the club fee, right? Those are the requirements. Uh, local tennis club description. Yeah, maybe it's a 10 uh, minute drive for each of you. Sure. Okay. All right. Um, here is where you'd want to think about the time. And if you look at the original question, you see that, right? So when, for example, would be a description. Um, so the description of the idea would be uh, 90 minutes or maybe two hours twice a week, so maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays, right? So, yeah. Um, you have a tr maybe a coach or a trainer. You have other teams, 10 other teams, okay? So that would be the description of uh, the idea, okay? All right? Requirements would be like buying rackets, making time, paying the club fee, um, and um, uh, maybe um, some uniforms, yeah. Okay, all right, so outcomes. In the one minute, you don't really have time to come up with too, too many uh, different um, responses. So uh, the outcomes, uh, what were the results? Okay, so um, you join this tennis club. Remember, it's all in the past with your sister and you played tennis. Um, maybe it's uh, here, I would, you know, it's for six months. Okay. And what were the outcomes? Uh, get to know her, son, it says. So maybe daily life. Yeah, you, when you spend regularly time with your loved one or a person, you find out about their daily life. Yeah, you get insights. Um, Romaine says, keep fit, stay healthy. Yeah, so fitness. Okay, you probably had fun together. Yeah, shared daily life, sure. And helps you to stay close, right? So if your sister moves away from home or if both of you move away from home to other parts of the city, you don't spend as much time together, uh, maybe it helps you to um, stay close uh, and keep your relationship strong, right? Okay. Um, Udid said synchronization or harmony, right? Uh, very good, okay. Um, improvements. Well, maybe you decided that in the future you will ask her out for uh, lunch after Thursday. Okay, keep it quick, keep it short. All right, uh, step five. We're doing great, everyone. So step number five, um, what is that? What do you think it is? Uh, many of you who watch the, these lessons regularly should be very clear on step five, what comes after your notes before the uh, examiner says that uh, your one minute preparation time is up. Don't overdo it, any, everyone. It's, just, it's one to two minutes speaking. You're answering these questions here. Um, you've got good notes here. So, and again, for those of you who said at the beginning that, hey, this, you know, this seems really difficult, you're probably realizing it's not so bad as long as you know what you're doing and you have a good idea. Uh, Gurpreet says the first line, yeah, the first sentence, Saeed, absolutely. Sanjay says buy some smoothies for each other. Yeah, that's really good, Sanjay. I like it. Okay, um, so step five is your first sentence. Get your first uh, sentence ready. 
Let's do this, everyone. Um, so your first sentence, um, it comes from the question. This should be a direct uh, reflection of the cue card uh, topic question. Okay, uh, you write your first sentence, I'll write my first sentence, and then we'll compare these first sentences. So, All right, there's my first sentence. Uh, let's see what you come up with and then we'll compare. So my first sentence, and again, this is speaking everyone, so you can uh, repeat after me. A great idea I had to improve my relationship with my younger sister Anne last year was to join a tennis club and play doubles tennis. Bing. At this point, your examiner's thinking, hey, great, original, clean, clear, crisp, to the point answering the question okay so notice how basically I'm just using the question here um, talk about an idea you had to improve a relationship okay I'm reflecting on that right away I'm even answering the who it was with right off the bat okay Saeed says I believe that inviting my sister to play some tennis in our local tennis club was a great idea to improve our relationship. Saeed, be very careful, past tense. Remember, we identified the tense as a past tense. The question was, talk about an idea you had to improve a relationship, okay? Sonnet says, an idea I found to join a, a tennis to make a strong bond with my younger sister. An idea I found to um, improve a relationship was to join a tennis club to build a strong bond with my younger sister. Couple of corrections there, uh, Sonny, but otherwise not bad. Okay. Gurpreet says, last year I had some issues with my elder sister and to improve our relationship, I decided to ask her to join a tennis club okay all right um so good good start now we basically just move through these um points okay so first the description all right local tennis club 10 minute drive two hours uh tuesdays and thursdays with a proper coach 10 teams for six months, okay? So let's add this, okay? So I'm going to add this information, you add this information and we'll keep comparing. And again, students will eventually uh, get to the point where you get to do this. So, um, so basically, um, I had asked her to join our local tennis club um, which was a 10 minute drive or which is because it's now right which is a 10 minute drive from both our homes um, for uh, two sessions each week on Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, for for two hours on each uh, day. And again, if you need to say this in more sentences, say it in more sentences. It's okay. You don't have to speak in very long, complex sentences, but you have to be really clear, okay? So basically, I had asked her to join our local tennis club, which is a 10 minute drive from both our homes for two sessions each week on Tuesdays and Thursdays for two hours uh, on each day. Um, 
And then um, I can give the reason, right? So if I don't remember every point for this, that's okay, I can come back to it. I just wanna make sure I give all this information within the first 90 seconds, okay? All right, uh, Tatiana says, we bought membership cards to our local tennis club to play doubles tennis together twice a week for two hours. Beautiful, Tatiana, okay? Yuen says, two months ago, I improved my relationship with my uh, sister. Um, and Yuen, let's stick to this topic for now. You can try a different one later. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so why? Um, the reason for my uh, decision to ask my sister to do this with me is because both of us had moved out of our childhood home and we had become somewhat disconnected over the past half decade. I thought this would be a great idea to uh, meet with her on a regular basis while enjoying uh, an activity we both love uh, since our childhood. Tennis, right? Okay. So now I have the uh, origin of the idea. Okay, so description done, um, origin done. Okay, I haven't mentioned building teamwork. I haven't mentioned coaching teams or six months, but I can circle back to that later on, All right? I hope that makes sense. So now I'm moving on to the requirements. All right, so all we needed to make this happen were a couple of tennis rackets, some uniforms, and most importantly, allocating uh, some time from our busy schedules. Okay, allocating means dedicating or using time for a specific reason. So allocating, deciding where you put that time, okay? And I see there's lots of great responses coming up in the chat now. So Arun says, a year ago, my little sister and I joined an indoor tennis club um, to build our brother-sister relationship uh, and make it stronger. The club was located a stone's throw away uh, from our apartments. Okay, good. Trudy says to play doubles tennis. We have been playing uh, doubles tennis. Okay, good. Yeah, so you're changing some uh, present to present perfect, which is great. Okay, nice. Okay, so um, here I've talked about uh, my uh, requirements. Okay, really good. So now the outcomes, all right? So the results, okay. Um, I feel that this uh, decision has had a wonderful impact on our relationship as we have rekindled our uh, strong bond by sharing our um, weekly activities with each other during our tennis practice and games. I have gained 
a deeper insight into my <clears throat> sister's uh, life, both her joys and sorrows. In fact, we have exchanged uh, some very good advice uh, to help each other through the uh, challenges of daily life. Okay. All right. And again, remember the examiner can stop you anywhere from one to two minutes. So your goal is to answer that cue card within the first 60 to 90 seconds. Okay. And then if you have more time, you can circle back and give more details. All right. I'll show you how in a second. So right now, I have uh, finished my outcomes and now I'm on to doing improvements. So how can I improve on my idea? Okay, so uh, for the next tennis season, I uh, hope to invite my sis out for lunch after uh, Thursday games so that we can get into um, some more conversation and continue to strengthen our relationship. Okay. All right. Um, so, and that kind of concludes that finishes most examiners at this point would probably stop you and say, okay, your time is up. We'll now go on to part three. Um, at this point, if they don't stop you, okay, if there's no stopping, uh, you should definitely look at the cue card and think, okay, maybe I haven't answered all these questions, um, so I have to check, right? So then I look at the questions, okay, who was it with? Mm -hmm, okay, I answered that, my sister. What was the idea? I answered that, playing tennis right? Um, when and why did you have this idea? So last year, and I explained why. Did it improve the relationship? If yes, how? I definitely answered that. So probably the examiner is not going to stop me. But if the examiner is zoning out, they're thinking about, you know, their lunch or whether or not they fed their cat that morning because they've had a lot of candidates that day and they're kind of losing focus, uh, then you can circle back, okay? So um, we even have a coach who helps us build our communication on the court. And um, we won uh, first place in our local tournament which was a great moment uh, to share with each other. And then hopefully by this time, your examiner kind of snaps out of it and goes, oh, okay, <laughs> your time is up. Uh, let's go on to part three. All right. Um, okay, uh, so um, I'm glad some of you got that kind of joke that I was saying. Hey, you never know, the examiners are humans as well, right? Okay. All right. Um, so here we go, everyone. Let's uh, do this together. Let's go through this uh, this answer together, and uh, and then I'll give you a chance to practice this on your own. Okay. So here we go, everyone. This is part two speaking. Here is the cue card one more time. So I'll speaking part two cue card. Um, Let's look at the cue card. Let's look at the response. Please repeat, okay? Repeat, speak with me. Speak together, okay? Talk about an idea you had to improve a relationship. You should say who it was with. What was the idea? When and why did you have this idea? Did it improve your relationship? If yes, how? 
Your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. A great idea I had to improve my relationship with my younger sister Anne last year was to join a tennis club and play doubles tennis. So basically, I'd asked her to join our local tennis club, which is a 10 minute drive from both our homes for two sessions each week on Tuesdays and Thursdays for two hours each day. The reason for my decision to ask my sister to do this with me is because both of us had moved out of our childhood home and we had become somewhat disconnected over the last half decade. I thought this would be a great idea to meet with her on a regular basis while enjoying an activity we both have loved since our childhood, tennis. All we needed to make this happen were a couple of tennis rackets, some uniforms, and most importantly, allocating some time from our busy schedules. I feel that this decision has had a wonderful impact on our relationship as we have rekindled our strong bond by sharing our weekly activities with each other uh, during our tennis practice and games. I have gained a deeper insight into my sister's life, both her joys and sorrows, in fact, we have exchanged some very good advice to help each other through the challenges of daily life. For the next tennis season, I hope to invite my sis out for lunch after Thursday games so that we can get into some more conversation and continue uh, to strengthen our relationship. We even have a coach who helps us build our communication on the court and we won first place in our local tournament, which was a great moment to uh, share with each other. Okay, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, your time is up. You're doing good. No, they won't tell you that you're doing good, but you'll definitely be getting a bad nine at this point. Uh, notice all the present perfect students. There's roughly at least half a dozen or more present perfect sentences in there, okay? So check those out. Make sure you can identify them. There we go, there's the rest of it. Um, okay, students, so uh, I wanna give you a chance to do this. Um, you can go with the same answer, joining a tennis club. Go with a similar answer, joining a sports club, could be a football team or other, or go with a completely original answer, like taking your boss out for lunches on Fridays. Um, so I'm going to take some volunteers for speaking. This is how you volunteer to call me and speak to me directly. All right, let's do this. Um, so first of all, you need to go to our website, aehelp.com. Uh, when you're here, you have to join either the free course by clicking this little green button or our awesome premium IELTS course, one-time payment, lifetime access. Click that big red button, just <laughs> click it um, and then you have a my student account um, your my student account that's up at the top here way up there um, in your my student account it's very quick to, co to create an account you can actually do it while I'm uh, speaking especially the free account um, then you have this student partner speaking that's right there above my head student partner speaking click on that accept the term say okay yes I'm going to speak and I'm going to speak nicely with other people and here is our chat interface for IELTS students. So you can all practice your speaking with each other. You can chat with each other, practice your speaking, practice your English. Um, we already have Carolina, Divya, Yabeth, Luna, Vinicius, Khadija, and ooh, lots, ooh, lots more, lots and lots more. Awesome. And then you can practice this part two with me right now, and you can practice it with others as well. Um, Mehrdad is already messaging me. You will see me as master in the list. Send me a ping, say, hey, I want to try this. Um, and then you can give it a go. We'll take uh, one or two people today. Uh, I think Mekri Dud was the first out of the gate. So let's, uh, ooh, James Bond in there as well. 007, we've had Elon Musk in the past and now we have James Bond. All right, um, <laughs> let's see if Mekri Dud is, Mekri Dud is available for this. Okay. All right, Mekri Dud says, I am ready, I want to try this. That is looking ambitious, sounding ambitious. That's fantastic. So are you there, uh, Mekri Dud? Let's see. And then I can call you if once you respond. Yes, and make sure your microphone and your speaker are allowed, are enabled on the website. Obviously, you can't use this if it's not. Okay. Yes. 
Hi. Hi, Mehrdad. How are you? Hi. Hi, Adrian. And thanks. I'm fine. Awesome. Thank you for calling. Uh, where are you right now, Mehrdad, in this big world of ours? I'm in Tehran. Tehran, Iran. You're in Iran. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Um, so yeah. uh, let's do this part two. I'm going to jump back to the question. And then just give me okay. a nice answer. Uh, make sure to answer all the questions. You can give the same kind of response, joining a tennis club if you like, or if you want to give a completely different answer, it's up to you, okay? So okay. I, will sh I will start you off um, by going back to the question. So here we go. Talk about an idea you had to improve a relationship. Your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay. The activity I tried to improve my relationship with, uh, with my wife was going for a hiking activity in the mountains of my city. Because of our hard working and uh, being unable to have leisure time uh, in our weekdays, me and my wife decided to have time for hiking in the mountains. We just wanted to buy some new equipment like hiking shoes, some uh, special clothes, and some uh, <coughs> uh, uh, some special uh, shoes and uh, uh, a new t trousers for hiking. Um, so we started uh, for going once a week on uh, Fridays, that is a free day in my country. We went out uh, uh, from 5 in the morning till uh, 10 and uh, we, uh, we started to have breakfast like tea and some uh, scrambled egg in the mountains um, and that's it and that, uh, that made us uh, happy and changed our mood. So we can, now we can uh, have a better time in the week for working and mm, that's it. I don't okay. have any more. Very idea. good. All right. Yeah. That was fantastic. All right. Good for you. Good for pushing through. I can okay. feel that a couple times you're almost ready to give up and then you're like, no, I'm not giving up. I'm pushing through <laughs> with more information. Good for you. Never give up. Yeah. Uh, never give up. I strongly uh, believe that. I, I did a mock-up test on the, uh, on the Monday and I got seven in reading, seven in listening, seven in uh, writing, but I got six in a speaking I'm I'm very nervous in the speaking yeah, section. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so so um, you're smart. That's what you're focusing on, and that's what you have to improve, right? That was that's really smart to assess yeah. your level, figure out your strengths, figure out your weaknesses, right? I mean, if you have eight in listening yeah. and you have six in speaking, then don't mm -hmm. spend ten hours on listening. Spend it on speaking, right, to mm -hmm. improve your speaking score, and that's what you're okay. doing. So that's really good. Um, yeah, I would probably give you about a six uh, for that uh, as well because you're just on the borderline of fluent okay so some examiners might even like I don't want to scare you but some examiners might even score you at a 5.5 so your range is 5 to 6 rather than 6 to 7 okay um, because 6 mm -hmm. is fluent okay. 6 means you don't get stuck and you really got stuck um, when you were talking about um, the equipment that you need for hiking with your wife right so let me give yeah. you a couple of tricks to help you with this, okay? And I'm gonna okay. ask you a couple of questions first. So when you were giving me this response, did you have notes? Like, did you write down some notes? No, I, I usually don't take notes while I'm speaking. So this and was all from your head, I know head, that's right? wrong. Yeah, so this was all from yeah. your head. Okay, now, yeah. um, 
how many times did you look at the questions on the cue card? So you see, you can still kind of see the questions at the top here. How many times did you stop? I'm on my mobile. Okay. Did you see the questions? I, on I am on mobile. mobile. No, no. Okay. Because that's my first tip. Okay. In your situation is okay. you have to take at least a couple notes. All right. That's one. Um, and mm -hmm. the other is don't forget about the cue card. So they show you the cue card because you can look at that. Right. So if you get stuck, just mm -hmm. look at the cue card and give an answer to one of the questions that you see on the cue card. Okay. Um, you, okay. you followed the lesson. Uh, I realized that right away. So your structure was really good. So first of all, you told me that what the activity was. You talked about the activity to improve your relationship uh, with your wife going for a hike. Mm -hmm. So right away, you told me what the mm -hmm. idea is. That was great. Okay. Then you told me mm -hmm. the reason for your idea. So you said it's because you've been working hard and so you needed some time together, mm -hmm. right? Okay, and then yes. you told me about the requirements. You said we decided to buy some hiking shoes and that's kind of where you got stuck. Now, instead of giving me more details, yeah. if you're stuck, then start talking about what happened and the results. So, and then you did that after, but you got stuck for a little bit and then you realized, oh, wait a second, why don't I just start talking about what happened? And you did that. So you said we started going once a week on Fridays uh, from five until 10, really nice quantitative language that was very good good um, and then we started to have breakfast and tea and scrambled eggs in the mountains that was maybe a little bit uh, kind of going off topic and then you said and that's mm -hmm. it that scared me when you said that's it I was like ooh, that should not be it why oh. because you haven't told me about how it improved your relationship right um, so <laughs> okay. be before before you dead stop your response like before you go like the end right um you don't want to do that so you don't yeah. want to be like the end um so just stop for a second and go okay look at the card uh -huh. look at the notes did i really answer all the points here no i haven't because in the real exam uh Macrodot, if you say that's it the examiner will stop you so they won't you won't be able to finish like and that made us happy and changed our mood okay you did that with me because I was typing mm -hmm. and I wanted to give you a chance. But in the real exam, they will stop you if you say that's it. They'll say, mm -hmm. okay, I'll take back the card and we'll go on. And then afterwards you're like, oh, oh, I didn't even answer like how that improved our relationship. Right now you're panicking. So, so don't finish uh -oh. like that. Just wait for a second and in your head, check yourself. Be like, did I answer all the, oh no, I haven't answered everything. Okay. And this made us really happy, changed our mood. We became positive. Um, and now we have a stronger, more emotional uh, and better relationship. And now at least it's like, okay, whew, we've got a complete answer. You see? Okay. Are you still there? Macrodad, I think I might've lost you because I think the connection was becoming, let's see. Macrodad, are you there still? Maybe not. <laughs> All right, but I'm hoping Macrodad heard me and heard that message that you should not stop the conversation on your own like that. Make sure you finish with a clear conclusion, okay? So that goes for everybody. Um, but definitely the structure, Macrodad, was really, really good. As long as you can still hear me, I hope you can. Um, keep that up, keep practicing, and you will do much better. You'll get into that 6-7 category, okay? All right, Macrodad, thank you so much for being our first volunteer, and I'm happy that you had a good enough connection to finish um, the response. Thumbs up, Macrodad. Thumbs up. Um, all right, uh, students, um, let's take one more. Let's take one more. I'm running out of time, but you know what? Let's do one more. Um, we haven't heard. Uh, I think here's Macrodad calling back. Okay, we'll just we'll say goodbye to Macrodad. Hi, hi Macrodad. I think, yeah, he's having some connection issues. It's okay, Macrodad, don't worry about it. Just watch back the lesson. Um, let's see, I think me here. Uh, let me reach out to me. Okay. Uh, me, yes, you can volunteer. Would you like to try? Yes, of course. All right. We haven't heard from me, I think, in a little while, so we'll give me a chance here. Okay. Here we go. Hello. 
sir. Hi, me. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. How are you? Pretty good as well. We have not heard your voice in a while, so let's give this a go. Um, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> awesome. Okay, again, up to you. You can go with the same idea or a similar idea or a completely different idea. I will start you off. Uh, talk about an idea you had to improve a relationship. Your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Um, the idea that I had to improve my relationship with my sister and is to register for a tennis course uh, on, a, uh, on a tennis club near our house. Um, it was a, ten, a local tennis club uh, about 10 about uh, 10 minutes from my from my house and we played there for two hours every uh, Tuesday and Thursday with the coach um, I asked her to play this uh, about two years ago when I saw an advertisement about this club on Facebook and the, the reason why I asked her to do this because uh, she had had moved out of the house for several years, about five years. And um, I think that I, uh, uh, I lost connection with her. So I wanted to uh, build more relation, build relationship with her. So that is the reason why. And to do this, uh, we we uh, went shopping uh, in a shopping mall near my, my school. We bought uh, uh, two rackets and uh, uniforms in order to play. And also we uh, prepared some money to register for the course. And, uh, and it turned out to be a really great idea because we had actually improved our relationship. We know we know more about each other lives. Like uh, we have, we gain more about deep insights about each other, and moreover, we also uh, get into shape and uh, and have some fun together. And I think uh, in the next course, I okay, in the next your uh, time is up, me. I'm going to stop you there, and now I will take back the questions and ask uh, you some questions connected to your answer and related to this, this uh, topic for uh, part three. So this is definitely about the time me that the examiner will interrupt you, okay? Um, they have to stop you at two minutes. So the examiner can stop you anywhere between one and two minutes, but the examiner has to, by the IELTS rules, has to stop you at two minutes. They no longer have the choice to stop you. They have to stop you at two minutes. So uh, here's the good news, me. Uh, that was brilliant. That was a very nice band seven, okay? 7.5 even perhaps. So it was, it's a strong seven. Um, and because you answered the question, so you went with the same idea, which is great. It's, a, it's great practice, right? Um, so you made it your own. So you, you use the same idea, but with your own vocabulary, with your own words, little bit of differences in the content. And that was really good. Me, that was really good. Thumbs up. Um, the one tip, me, is answer the questions a bit faster. Okay? So um, don't digress so much. Like, time yourself when you're practicing the cue card at home. Uh, put a timer in front of you and make sure that you answer all the questions on the cue card in 90 seconds because I think that your answer for how it improved your relationship was coming quite late and if you don't get to that answer then you won't be able to get the full mark for this cue card right so you, you have to get there a little bit faster and then if you still have time you can go into more details like oh we went to a shopping mall to get our uh, uniforms and um, even that was a lot of fun so you can leave that for later on but just make sure that you answer how it improved your relationship okay okay so I can change the orders of the ideas you can you can you can depending on your timing or rather just keep 
it shorter. So um, instead of you know telling me all about getting rackets and paying the fees for the club and going to the mall to get your clothes, just talk about getting rackets and then talk about okay. how to improve your relationship. And then you can tell me more about, oh, and we also, of course, had to pay the $50 registration fee and we had a really good time together shopping for clothes to play tennis at the mall. You can tell me that after if you have time left, but if you don't have time left, then that's a problem. So keep the answer for each part a little bit shorter and then you can expand later. Does that make sense? Yes, uh, may I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Like, wait, can I can I see the timer when I take the IELTS no. exam or? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> In some, yeah, okay. in some, ex no, usually not. I think in some exam rooms you might see like a clock on the wall somewhere, but it's not a good idea to be looking at a clock in the two minutes. You should just kind of feel that two minutes. And remember, the examiner can stop you after one minute. So it's one to two minutes. So you should practice that 90 second full answer at home several times before the test so that you can feel it. Okay? All right. All right. I got it. Thank you, okay. sir. All right, me, thank you for that wonderful answer, and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Okay, so I'm about to sleep now. <laughs> I hope you have an awesome night's rest. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, have bye, me. Day. You too, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. All right, so that was me, and she's gone. Okay, um, hope that she has some good sleep and good rest. Uh, students, that's all the time I have for today for this speaking part two but worry not all you great people out there um, because I will be back tomorrow with uh, task one academic writing for our members and then I will have speaking part three for our subscribers and we have even more speaking on Saturday so uh, Carolina thank you so much for um, moderating the chat Thank you members for all your support and I hope that many of you will join us on our websites because it's good for you and it will maximize all that hard work, invested time, money and effort into the IELTS exam. Join us uh, at aehelp.com for academic IELTS um, and gieltshelp.com for general IELTS. Again, just click those red buttons. Do yourself a favor. I'm Adrian. I'm signing out from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada wishing you all an awesome next 24 hours. Bye for now.